Hi there, welcome to Agiotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to become a programmer and developer. We also teach general IT tips and tricks. We can also teach basic graphic designing and video editing. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you an amazing way in which you can calculate. You can easily calculate percentage using Excel. So we have some records here in which we are trying to get a percentage for individual students. So we are afraid. Remember to watch this video to the end in order to get everything from this particular lesson. It's going to help you a lot. Leave the comments at the comment section regarding my tutorial, whatever you want me to add, any addition you want. I'm ever going to work on that. Any suggestion, you just contribution. Leave it at the comment section. And remember to subscribe as well. So these are the individual students that have their names and the various courses they offered. So we have science, math, English, ICT, and social studies. So we need to get a total. Based on the total, we can easily get their percentages. So you want to get the individual percentages for every student. Every course over here is supposed to be over hundred percent. So every individual score you over have, you can see over here is over hundred percent. So here we can assume that Fred over here is having what. 67 over 100 in ICT okay so we want to find a total based on the total we can easily get their percentages okay so let's jump right into action so let's first calculate our total from our previous lesson in which I'm going to leave the link below to my previous lesson on Excel you will notice that calculating summation or some functions we just to calculate the sum we just use the equal to sign and use the sum keyword this way and we want to find a sum from the science to the social studies so I just drag across this way and just hit the enter keyword to easily get a total for Fred to do for the rest we just have to double click on this square box over here if I double click I'm going to get it for the rest of my student so from Sandra all down to what Aaron let me undo this we the alternative is that you just have to click on this square box and then drag it down and it's equally going to do the same thing so now we have our total I can just select this column let me just highlight it uh -huh, okay so we have our total now so based on this total we can easily okay let me just remove the highlights again let me just do that from here okay so based on this the total we can easily go ahead and then get our percentages okay and basic mass computation we know how to calculate percentage and we are going to use that to do this so what we not we need to do right now what we need to do right now is to use the total to get our percentage like I said every individual course over here is over 100 so we have five courses meaning the total is going to be 500 so to get our percentage we use the equal to sign and then we see the percentage is going to be on the total score so that's going to be the fk so look at the sorry k5 so the total is in k5 then divided by total which we said is 500 because it's five courses and each course is 100 so now this times 100 so remember we are finding percentage so this is going to give us what the total the percent we need good but we need to enforce a bit of board mass so we want to enforce so you want to enforce what to be in the bracket to be calculated first before the multiplication will go on so let's put this into bracket like this as you can see so this is what is going to happen what is in the bracket to be done first and then we multiply by what 100 to get our percentage so if i hit enter i'm not getting my percentage for what fred like i've done for the total we can equally do for the percentages so if I double click on this square box it's going to generate what the rest of my percentages for me so I can see from my list that Timothy had the highest percentage which is 80.6 okay so basically this is how you can calculate the percentages using Excel let me undo this and you can also use the alternative just by clicking on the square box drag down and then equally going to do that remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content so basically this is how to calculate percentages using excel thank you so much for watching and enjoying this tutorial so like come your way another day 
stay safe and then keep visiting my youtube channel to enjoy amazing contents such as this bye bye